Process Heating with Infrared Introduction to Catalytic Infrared Heating Many industrial processes require heat to melt, dry, or change properties of materials. There are many ways to heat materials, but using ovens or furnaces are most common. For example, some ovens heat parts or materials by surrounding them with hot air. An oven with a temperature of 600 degrees Fahrenheit, for example, has 600 degree air that is circulated around the parts to be heated by what is called convection. The air needs to be heated, which then transfers the heat to the material being processed in a convection oven. A faster, more direct way to heat is through radiation, more specifically infrared or IR radiation. Infrared radiation heats by transferring energy through space directly to the material being processed. This heats products faster and improves efficiency as it avoids the need to heat all of the surrounding air. This is especially beneficial when only the surface of a material needs to heat up, as with powder coatings on heat sensitive substrates for example. Infrared radiant energy is electromagnetic radiation in the wavelengths that are just below the visible light spectrum. Just as visible light is made up of a variety of different wavelengths that we see as a spectrum of colors, so too infrared is made up of a wide range of wavelengths. All objects emit IR radiation, but the amount and range of wavelengths change depending on the temperature of the emitter. The bright yellow portion of this lava is emitting mostly short wave infrared. The red and orange portions mostly emit medium wave infrared. As the lava cools down, it gets darker as less visible light is emitted along with a shift to where most of the infrared wavelengths emitted are long wave. Now why is this important to know? Because the engineering of an infrared process heating system first evolves selecting the radiant emitter or heater which best suits the material requiring heat. This is because different materials effectively absorb infrared radiation at different wavelengths. Certain materials such as plastics and powder coatings are ideally suited for using lower temperature or what is known as long wave infrared. Although IR is not visible to the naked eye, infrared cameras can display the images by transforming different temperatures detected as variations in color. Radiant heaters send out infrared energy from a heated surface or emitter. The method in which the heat is generated defines the type or class of heater. Electric heaters create heat from the resistance in heating elements. The energy required is measured in kilowatts. Natural gas is a less costly source of kilowatt energy and can be used in two ways to generate heat, by combustion flames as in the case for high radiant heaters, or by a chemical oxidation process known as catalysis, which is the basis for the operation of catalytic heaters. Catalytic infrared heaters use a specialized platinum catalyst to break down the components of natural gas to water and carbon dioxide, releasing heat in the process. This flameless catalytic reaction occurs within a temperature range of 350 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and does not generate any NOx or carbon monoxide. The heat produced by this reaction is easily controlled by regulating the flow of gas and generating infrared in the long to medium wavelengths. A catalytic heater operating at 900 degrees converts 80% of the incoming gas into infrared energy that is in the 3.5 micron wavelength. It is at this wavelength that all organic materials efficiently absorb infrared energy, rapidly raising their temperature. It is for this reason that catalytic heating is proving to be the most cost-effective way of heating and curing coated surfaces such as liquid and powder coatings, as well as an ideal method of heating plastics and thermal forming and drying of water from many types of surfaces and substrates. Long to medium wave catalytic heaters are a cost-effective alternative to electric resistant heaters offering many process improvements. Catalytic heaters are also better suited than combustion flame infrared burners in so many applications by more effectively spreading out the radiant heat. Compared to convection heating 
all types of infrared are a faster and more efficient way to transfer energy. Let Vulcan Catalytic prove the advantages of this innovative and effective method of heating for your process heating needs.